Hello seekers, welcome to Sadgamaya. Now, sun will make its move in the sign of Capricorn on 15th and then for a month sun will be in Capricorn zodiac sign. For ascendant wise analysis, you can watch uh, the video that will be coming in few days time uh, on my main channel. But here, let's quickly discuss on one factor that when sun goes in Capricorn, it is the sthana where sun becomes powerful because of the placement there is also movement of the sun which is called makar sankranti which is celebrated because it represents a change in season change in harvest it represents uh, the days becoming longer it represents the in the northern hemisphere it represents the 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 winter going away in the northern hemisphere and what it means is that the heat is rising and sun really wants to work so this is the time of hard work also uh, the moment sun enters capricorn after a day or two mars combustion ends so mars is no longer combust so suddenly mars which is in the sagittarius zodiac sign will become prominent will become visible and therefore you will be able to know your true strength your true potential so you have to work on your true potential that's point one the second point that you will have to uh, be careful about is you will have to go defensive. Now, a lot of people will become very much defensive about their image, about their, they will become very conscious about their image in society, what others think. That is fine as long as it is under control. If you become obsessive, the sun is only going to create more problems. Why? Because if you observe, sun is in trine with Ketu, Ketu which is in Virgo. So what will happen is that you will be scared and you will try to run away. You will try to hide yourself and you will try, this can reduce your confidence. After all, Mars and Saturn are making the sun go under Papkartari. What are the other implications for, in a layman terms? Uh, good for career, good for health, but someone who is already suffering uh, anger related issues, someone who has problems with their father, someone who has uh, problems with their father-in-law, authority, should be careful during this time. There can be a restrictive decision taken around you that will restrict your action. On the other hand, if you observe that Jupiter is in quadrant, is in square from, from the Sun, Sun is in Capricorn, Jupiter is in Aries. This is good. This is really very good. But this Jupiter wants the Sun to make changes. Remember, when you are talking about Capricorn, you are talking about uh, Sun being sixth from Leo. So definitely this is called Raj Dharma. That means the duty of the king and that has to be performed at this time and the sun is also going to rise shine rise bright and here i will recommend you to take the name of prabhu shri ram by chanting ram or jay shri ram or hare ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare uh, moreover on the other hand when the sun will be in capricorn in the beginning venus will be transitioning from scorpio to sagittarius so you need to be very careful about uh, relationship and uh, ego interfering into relationship, jealousy interfering into relationship. People who are already suffering into suffering from marriage related issues should be careful during this time because the sun can create some problem there. What you should do? You should focus on your self-respect. You should focus on your health. You should focus on your well-being, but respect your limitations. Uh, in the in the layman term, I will say. This is a great transit, but a transit that will change your perspective and a transit where you may not have high degree of freedom, maybe in career, maybe in personal life. But if you focus on what you already have and try to make the best use of the resource, you can achieve much more than you can anticipate.